Top of the time zone to you. It is Freddie here. We're live again playing PGA Tour 2K23. We're restarting our my career here to play the Corn Ferry Q Tours Q School at TPC Boston. We're going to be doing this the traditional way, four rounds. Got our golf club sponsorship. Let's get underway. Some of the issues we had coming in was getting our swing tempo the way we want so that way we're able to play the golf that we desire. So this is 2K with the Corn Ferry Tours Q School PGA Tour Final at TPC Boston. I've, I've said all that already. So let's go ahead and get started. Mm, I don't like that swing already. All right, here we are at the first. Not bad, but that one is going in the rough. Again, that tempo is going to be do or die here. Look how back and forth it is. That's a great recovery. It might roll, but uh, yeah, that's going to roll off. Into the fringe. Luckily for me, I feel like putting it for the birdie. 18 feet. That one's looking good. Turns it right in. That's some of that off the green magic. Well done. That might get a replay. Yeah, we're off the fringe, but no matter. Just go ahead, read it right, lock it in. First birdie on the first hole is what we love. That brings us tied for fourth. With some of the leaders. Alright. Here we are. Hole 2. A par 5. Based on how we've been handling our shots lately. I'm not sure if we... We got a, we got a little slice on our hands. That time we got a hook. I'm just going to flirt with the left side of the fairway. It's going to be okay. Second shot. Now, I'm feeling uh, hella greedy right now. Going with a three wood across the water. That one's a bit slow, and that one's a bit wide. Let's see if that hangs on. It barely hangs on, chat. All right. This is going to be a weird shot. I don't know if that's going to roll down any better. That's going to be for birdie. This is 20 feet. This one's going left to right, and it's fast, and that was not going to do it. That was a bad angle. All right, 
par three. See if we can put this and make it stop on a dime. That's going right. That might catch the green. But I don't know if it's going to stop on there. It barely does. 56 feet. This is probably one of the longest putts you'll see. And this is going to be the hardest putts you're going to see, too. Wish us luck on this. Good stroke. That's going to be under the hole. A very valorant attempt. I said valorant. I meant valiant. Trying to enhance that vocabulary, but it didn't work out well. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. Nine feet to pin for par. Drops it in. That was a little close right there, but we, we ended up getting it. Still one under. Still tied for fourth. Now moving on to the fourth. This one I uh, wanted to gamble a little bit on. That's a nice play. If it hops right... But no, it won't. <laughs> it was not going to. You just don't have the firepower for that, unfortunately. And that will get us really close for a nice birdie attempt. An easy hole. We got the birdie for. Now it's two under. That's going to move us up a little bit. Let's see how on the leaderboard. Yep. We're at the top. It's a five-way tie. Maybe a little bit more. Lots of people are up there. And now here for the uh, par four on the fifth. I'm not sure how that's still slow, but we're on the fairway, so it doesn't matter. That's going to be for 300 yards. One of the things I wanted to do was actually do some commentary uh, for sports uh, broadcasting and whatnot. Uh, I, I would go to school for it. But uh, fortunately, it's out of my reach right now. But I, I would like for that to be the plan. Maybe uh, with my streaming and whatnot, I could do that. Uh, help fund that a little bit. This is 168 yards for our second shot. Again, slow. Our tempo is going to be something we're going to have to work on. We're Probably after this round, we're going to calibrate our clubs again and see what's the big deal. Ball slowly drifting back a bit a little bit. Oh, my goodness. This is a tough one. 44 feet, and this one's going in stream. Not even aiming at the hole. That's a good look. That's a respectable distance right there. We can definitely do something with that. Great read. Tap it in for par. And walk away. Keeping our nose clean with, with uh, out the bogey so far through five. Still two under. Still at the top of the leaderboard. Nothing really to be scared of as a... Uh, Someone lost a stroke there. Now it's a four-way tie. And now here we are at the sixth. Ah, 
that one is flirting. That's in the deeper rough. See how you manage this. Seven iron. Again slow, and that's going to be again a bit short. It's going to have a little bit of a roll, but that's still not going to be enough. Oh, that's a nice attempt right there. As long as we make great recoveries right like that, making par will be a little bit easier. Now, if we could just work the tempo on the other two shots, then we could put more birdies on the scorecard. All right, now a par five. Let's time to eat. That one's a bit fast, and that's looking at that bunker. Well, it's going to stop short, probably in the first cut of the rough. So that's going to ruin our second shot. Unless you could pull it off, but... Oh, wow. That's going to be real close to that bunker, but it's going to kick forward a little bit. And we're going to be safely on the fairway. Remarkable right there. Great recovery. Now, here we are. 74 yards. Just the tempo has just been off. But it sticks the landing, and we'll just take it. All right, here are 18 feet for birdie to get you all alone in the lead. Didn't put all of it on it. Just a hair shy. All's fair and par. Now a par three. This could take a stroke away from me right here if you're not careful. We don't have a club. We don't have a forearm in here, so this may hurt us a bit. Might have to bring the forearm back for the next one. Oh, no. That was a bad hook. This one is going to be ugly. Well, it wasn't too bad. It's still off the green. But we've made a lot of shots before off the green. Look at that. Look at that. Pop! What did I say? What did I say? Amazing right there. That's what we're known for, chat. We're going to get a nice looking replay right here. Eleven yards out, and that is what we're going to leave it on. And we was worried about par threes. That right there probably got us the lead all by ourselves. Oh, no. A couple of people got it. So now it's a three-way tie now as we start to distance ourselves. It's only the first round, so anything can happen. And now here we are at the ninth. That was a nice drive. It's going to be flirting with the rough right there, but I think we're going to get a good kick. Yep, we did. And we're going to be back on the fairway. All 
right, here's our second shot. A bit slow, but I think it's going to correct itself in the air. Nice approach. Right on line. And now this is for birdie. 10 feet, feet away. A little bit of left or right action. See if it's a good read. In there for back-to-back -back birdies. And that's how we're going to round out the, the front nine. Four under for the round. And now we finally have the lead all to ourselves. Coming up next, we're going to go to the back nine right after this. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, currently on the 10th at TPC Boston, round one of uh, the Q School final. This is 409 yards. We last left off the front nine, four under. Now we're taking the back nine on. Let's see if we get a push away from the rest of the field. Tempo still needs to be worked on a bit. We're due. We are adjusting for that, though. So we're looking forward to getting that underway. 304 yards there. Let's see if we could uh, bite down and get this one a little bit close. That was not good. And that one's extremely short. That just ruined our chances for uh, Birdie to put in. But it's not over yet. We can make par out of that. And we do. Excellent shot. Still one ahead of everyone else. Now here we are at the par 3 at 11th. Really don't want to use a three iron right here. That one's going wide right. Not even where we aimed. And this is what we got. 22 yards. Let's see if we can uh, make something happen here. Nine feet. It's going to be a tough shot because this is a heartbreaker. Oh, what a nice save. And here we are with 12. The 12th hole. It's a long par four this time. Crowd is really excited about that one. We're going to be on the fairway. Question is how we're going to make this next shot. 302. That's about 214 yards. Well, it's downhill, so we can uh, club down. That one's a bit fast, and uh, this one may stay on the fairway. It might kick. Yeah, it's going to roll off. But we do have a great attempt here to chip it 
pretty close to get the par, if anything. I don't know if we have another attempt of a hole out, but let's give it a go. Good breaks on that one. Another par. One thing I don't like about making a lot of pars, it gives you a lot of chance to flirt with bogey. So we head on to another par four on the 13th. Our swings are a lot tamer now. A lot more tame. 297. We're making the fairway, but it's the second shot that's getting us right now. Like, look at that right there. Not a lot of forgiveness. That one's going in the bunker. Now we gotta... Gotta be a surgeon with this. And spot this correctly. As uh, any mistake here could lead us to uh, a bogey. What what did I say? Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> now, if we only done that the first time, that would have been a whole other story. But that was a close par or save right there. You, I kid you not. That reaction, like, we... That was, like, one of the worst third shots, but a great recovery... So I'm looking forward to it. All right, now here we are at the 14th. Playing to our weaknesses and getting on the fairway because of it. 311 on that drive. We're going to keep that same energy going with a 6 iron with 197 yards. This one's going to be rolling all to the right. Now this one's just trying to punish us just because. Back-to-back -back approaches going into the sand. You think we can get lucky again? Oh my goodness. We might be onto something right now for par. So we may have to adjust our uh, our irons or something cuz we're not doing so well with them. So we might have to adjust that on our next round. Here we are at the 15th. That one, uh, we didn't get all the swing that we wanted. We pushed a little bit too hard. We was, we had it slower. We had a faster tempo the last few times. This time, not so much. Going to use a gap wedge. See what happens there. That one's toned down a bit, but this one might be still short. This one's going to be interesting how this plays out. I'm going to go straight in with it. And we're playing safe right now. We're playing safe. We have the lead. Although we're tied again, as 
there's still a couple more players uh, left with us. This is not one of the holes you want to play around with. Going with a 7-iron. Yeah, we're going to have to go with the 7-iron. Nope. Going with the 8. The one time. The one time. The one time. We had a fastball. And that's going to cost us. Our birdie streak probably ends here. And now there's the slow we've been looking for. We are looking at a double bogey right now. Tough hop. This is going to roll way. Oh, my goodness. Never mind. This is now looking at a triple. Unless you could ace it right here with a 30, 35-foot putt. That one's looking good. Way to clean up that mess. That is our first double bogey. After a 35-foot save. Truly unfortunate that it had to come to that. That's how it is. Now we're out of the lead for the first time since the front nine. Now let's try to get it back with two holes remaining. There's no way I gap both of it. You got fortunate with that lucky kick right there. There is no denying that. 311 yards. A nice save. Pitch shot. For the second. We're on the green. Away from the hole, but 20 feet out. That might get there. Ooh. Too much on that. We'll take the par. Now, we need a lot of work on this last hole. Par 5 on the 18th. We're still in the top 5. That's not the problem. We, we really want to get at least... Tied for second with an eagle. I am questioning on whether or not that's actually slow or not. This might hit the rough if it stays up too long. All right, it stops. Second shot, 224 yards. And somehow that's ridiculously slow going into the bunker. Oh my goodness. That really hurt us a lot. This We might not even get a birdie out of this. We get the par, not what we're looking for, but it is a big sigh of relief that it could have gotten a lot worse right there at that last 
three holes. This will conclude our first round of the Q School Final at TPC Boston. If y'all like this kind of content, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We really, really do appreciate it. Coming up next time, round two. This time, the cut comes into play. Can we stay clean? As we finish five under for the round. Oh, sorry, the leader's five under. We're two under. We have a nice score, 69 strokes. So I appreciate all everybody for coming out. And as always, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time, we'll see you.